Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing some tips and products on how to minimize the appearance of your pores. Okay, so before I get too far into the video, today's video is sponsored by Skin Resource MD, so thank you to them for collaborating with me. I have a few products in conjunction with these tips to share um, that you are really going to love. Next, I'm not a dermatologist. Um, I just feel like I need to say that. I don't know if I really have to say that. These are just products and tips and tricks that I have used that have worked for me, and I just like sharing because I feel like if it helped me, I can help someone else. So, let's jump into the tips. So first, before the tips, I guess, um, I will share, so like enlarged pores or like really big pores, you can't necessarily shrink them down to nothing. Um, what we can do is minimize the appearance of them um, by doing different things like that I'm about to share and using good quality skincare products. And one of the most important things that I cannot stress enough I talk about so much is to establish a good and simple routine with good products and do it every single day and every single night. Um, that is the number one, I guess that's my number one tip. So starting with that, <laughs> use good products, have a simple routine, and do it. My first product and tip is to use a pore clearing cleanser. Um, so daily I use a gentle cleanser. It's soap free. It is very gentle for all skin types, but this one I like to use once or twice a week to clear or to help clear my pores. Um, this has a few really cool ingredients. Um, yucca extract, willow bark extract, peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, um, thyme oil, sage oil, and it doesn't have sulfates, benzoyl peroxide, or parabens. So, this is safe to use on your skin. Um, I do think that it is for all skin types. If it's not, I will correct that and add that back in, in right here. But I think it's for all skin types. Most of Skin Resource MD's products are for all skin types, so that's why I love them. It's also fragrance free. They don't do any testing on animals, so it's an overall just really good brand. And it's a brand that I'm really proud to share with you guys and that I'm passionate about. Um, okay, anyways pore purifying essential oil. So that is, I think, the biggest thing is what helps this product clean and clear your pores out. Um, it's also extra strength, sulfate-free formula, dissolves oil on contact. So the other thing about this cleanser is that you put it on your dry skin. You don't wet your face first like a regular cleanser. Um, so you massage it onto your dry skin and then you rinse it off with warm water. My next tip is to use a sonic brush or some sort of facial cleansing brush. Um, this has helped me tremendously. Um, I use the Clarisonic Mia 1, I believe it is. Um, it's a very basic one for a Clarisonic, but it works so well. Like, I just feel like my skin is so much cleaner after using it, and I feel like my pores are minimized after using it as well. So I definitely recommend using one of those. Um, now, when you get one, it's going to say use twice a day. It has a timer and all that jazz, but I use mine like same as this once or twice a week I don't use it every day if I use it too much it's over exfoliating my skin and it is no bueno so get a cleansing brush but make sure that you ease into it and feel out like what your skin is going to do after using it um, I would recommend doing like once or twice a week to start next tip is to use a toner I just did a whole video on this toner specifically um, and actually I went over everything about using a toner so why you should use it and the benefits of using one. So this is really good to use because it hydrates your skin, but it also, toners help minimize my pores as well. So use a toner. Um, this one is the Visibly Moist Toner. It has lavender and rose. It smells so good. It works really good. And it's a good time to add this into your routine right now because it is going to provide extra hydration for the cooler months for you. Okay, my next tip is to use an oil-free moisturizer. Um, I feel like people with oily skin or if you have clogged pores or blackheads, um, you think to yourself like I don't need to moisturize because I have all this oil. But keeping your skin balanced is really, really important, especially if you have oily skin or clogged pores. So this is an oil-free antioxidant moisturizer. I love the antioxidant properties in this because it's going to help brighten and fade your dark spots um, and protect your skin from environmental aggressors and it also has... Um, so vitamin C is the antioxidant, basically. Um, the retinol 
It also has retinol, green tea, and coffee berry extract. So it has a bunch of good ingredients. It's fragrance-free, it's for all skin types, and it's oil-free, so it's not gonna clog your pores and make them worse. Next tip is to use some sort of steam. Do it at home is to boil some water and put it in a bowl and put like a towel over your head and just drape your head over the bowl, I guess, so it steams. That's good when you're sick too, so if you have a cold, that's like a duo purpose type thing, but um, steam your face, open up the pores, um, and then cleanse your face too. Um, that's a good time to do it because your pores are going to be open. Um, so another thing, or something I just thought of actually, is so when you're cleansing your face, you should wet your face with hot or warm water, as warm as you can get it. Um, that will open your pores so that when you cleanse it, your pores are open. And then when you rinse, rinse with cool water and that will help close your pores so they look smaller. Okay, so the next tip is to get extractions done by a licensed professional. <laughs> um, don't pick at your face yourself, but you go, go get a facial or go to your dermatologist and get extractions. Actually, I don't even know if the dermatologist does that. I do know when you go get a facial, you can get extractions. Um, and basically, they're just taking those blackheads and extracting them. It's a really good benefit, a really good add-on to your facial, and it will help get rid of those clogged pores for you. Okay, and the last two tips are not skincare related at all. The first one is to eat well, and the second or in the last tip is to stay hydrated. So your outside is a reflection of what you put in your body, right? So if you're eating chocolate and processed foods and salty snacks and just crap, it is going to show on the outside. If you're eating healthy fruits and vegetables, um, a balanced meal every meal instead of just a whole box of macaroni and cheese, um, that is going to help you and I can't stress that enough either. I started my journey to become more healthy um, probably like five years ago now, um, but it has just made a tremendous difference in my hair, my skin, um, the way I look, the way I feel. It's just so, so important. So I can't stress that enough either. Um, and that's something that I am passionate also about and like talking about is like just a well-rounded um, sense of health, not just using this skincare product, but it's staying hydrated, eating well, get, staying active, like doing all of these things to just be overall healthy. <laughs> um, and then last one, I already said it, but stay hydrated. So drink eight, eight ounce glasses of water to start. Um, that's a good place to start. Just drink your water. It will help so many things. Helps your energy, your hair, your skin, your everything, every single thing. So stay hydrated and eat well. Those are the last two tips. I hope you found some tips helpful. If you have any more tips that I didn't mention, please comment below. I want us to just help each other and to be positive. Um, I think your skin is such a big part of who you are and how your confidence level is. So I think it's so important and I will continue to talk about skincare so much. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions on any of these products, please let me know as well. I will link all of them below as usual. Um, and also as usual, there will be a blog post that goes with this video. I'll link it below so that you can click through. All the products will be there as well so that you can learn more about them and shop for them there too. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. You would make my day. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you like tips on skincare. Thanks again to Skin Resource MD for sponsoring this video. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Bye.